Hello Guardians, welcome back to Rightway Gaming. Today it is uh, the 15th episode of my Hunter playthrough and we're starting a bit of a new storyline today. We're doing the first mission of the Dark Below expansion, which was the first expansion to Destiny, which brought the raid Crawter's End. So, the first mission is to complete the Sword of Crawter. So we shall jump straight into that and see what it does. In the last episode we got the initial story to Destiny completed, the vanilla storyline, and we ended up with the Stranger's Rifle, um, which was like the very first legendary you would likely get on your first playthrough. Um, didn't really get anything else special. Um, he wielded a sword so dark it drained whatever light it touched. Now Croker sleeps, but the sword does not. But the sword does not. The sword is in a chamber guarded by the sword. Boost that a little princess. bit for you guys. If you face them and steal the sword, we can see that it is never wielded again. Boom! Never wielded again. So obviously it's on the moon. That's where Hive tend to be these the days. So this the is the Stranger's Rifle. The Swarm Princes. One of them is said to guard a ritual site near the Hellmouth. We'll challenge him first. Oh, will we now? Pretty excited to use the Stranger's Rifle. I've not used it for a long time. I actually think I've deleted it on one of my other characters. But yeah, so the last mission we completed the Black Heart, it triggered a bit of a question in my mind, which could be notable, it could be useless, but you never know. Right, now if I'm right, the thing we should be looking for should be here up on the right. And I could be wrong. But I think it's here, it should be Okay, yep, this is it. This is where we'll find him. I hope you're ready. I was born ready. Check that out. Oh yeah, so much damage. That's the guy we need to be facing, right there. One down. I'll lead us to the others. Got another Emma. I'm loving this new freaking pulse rifle at the moment. It's gonna make life pretty easy, I think, with how much damage it's doing. Take out these ads here, you know, you never know when you're gonna get. Oh, you can two pop a knight with it, that's awesome. Going down into the scary territory. Scary territory. Got a sniper. Not to unsettle you, but I'm tracking the sword by the light of the guardians it's killed. Ooh. It's further below. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Tracking the sword by the guardians it's killed. Is that a sign of what's to come? Engram there. Give us a green auto rifle that we probably don't need to use. The sword is close. I can feel its power.
definitely more to come, I know that much. Blew them out. Right, now this is where we grab the sword. That should lure them out. Careful. Uh oh. Dark. Right, so now if I'm right, there'll be like three knights that come out. Youch. Ah. Come on, where are these bloody princes? Should be. Lots of movement. Oh, All nice. Right. The princes are coming for the sword. And that's as easy as that. That one dead. Should only be one more. Oh, level 18. Yep, he's dead. We have lost the sword, but completed the mission. Sword is gone. They say that was one of the most powerful weapons the Hive ever wielded against us. Cryptarchs won't believe this. Whoa. So yeah, that is the sword of Krota. We basically picked up the sword and destroyed the princes protecting it. I'm not too sure how this storyline goes, so it's going to be interesting to actually listen to because I kind of rushed through it the first time I played it. So I'm going to be pretty excited to play through it and um, see what it's all about. Um, is that better than what we've got? It is. Boom. So we've got to go speak to Iris Morn, so we'll take a trip to the tower. There's some new gear. We are now level 18. So there's a 90 pulse rifle, which is better than the Shinjen C that we've got, so we'll keep that. Uh, fusion rifle is a 90 void, so I can get rid of that. And a uh, helmet, I've got, oh, I've got two better ones, so I'll get rid of both of them. And that's a Yep, that's fine. I that can go. Waiting to get to level 20 for that. I'm getting plenty of materials, which is good. Can add that in. I'm going to talk to Iris. Iris Morn. Let's just go and hand these engrams into the tower. The crypt arc, sorry. Don't know what I'm talking about, me clearly. Where to begin? Stay safe. 
Come back soon. There's that. Ooh, Is it better than church. what we've got? I doubt it. Yep, thought so. So, let's go speak to Iris and see what she's got to say. Hey, we're two levels off being able to customise the character a bit, so I might do a little special episode when we do that. What I've seen would break. Kill Sardon, the fifth so, before the Hive wake Crota's soul. Complete mission, you the Fist of Crota. So, that is that. We've got a new pulse rifle that's looking awesome. We are now on the Dark Below content, um, which leads up to the first, well, the first expansion raid. Um, obviously, the first raid was the Fallen Class. Um, and it leads up to Crota's end. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be pretty interesting. Now, we'll eventually do videos on Vault of Glass and Crota's end. I just need to get a team together to do it. So I'll catch you next time, Guardians.